my kids were asking me what I'm doing here on Periscope. So I want to show them. I thought I'd introduce you to my two littlest uh, kids. We have eight kids, thank God. But these are our two youngest. Geula on, the, on my left. And Yosef Yitzchak on my right. This Fitch, we call him Fitche. It's his nickname. You see the hearts on there? The Levavot, you see it? That means the people like you. Right? And if you see lots of colors of Levavot, it means that there's a lot of people who they like you. He just fell on his chin. What happened to your chin, Fitche? How you got a boo-boo? You want to tell everybody? What happened? Huh? Thank you, guys. You fell? You were running? And you tripped? No. Or did you fall on your bike? I was walking. You were walking and you fell down? Yeah. Do I do military service? I came to Israel when I was uh, 29. And I already had uh, five kids at that time. So when I arrived in this country at the airport to become a citizen, uh, they told me, don't go to the army, we don't need you. We, you have too many kids and stuff. So I never did military service, unfortunately. I didn't get the honor to do it. Even if I wanted, they wouldn't take me. Thank you guys for all the nice comments and for the hearts and everything. Gula, you see all the hearts going up there? Yeah. You see? She's not feeling so well, Gula. She has a little bit of a cold. I just gave her children's Tylenol. She has a bit of a fever. She's not feeling good today. What's hurting you? Your toe? No, my tummy. Your tummy? What happened? All this time I'm going away, my time is going to That's right, Gula means redemption. Why did my grandparents leave Russia? Because there were pogroms happening in Russia. They were killing Jews in the streets and pulling them out of their houses and killing them. So at that time, every Jew who could get out of Russia did. Some came to, most came to America. Some went to South America. And uh, some came to the Holy Land. A small amount came to the Holy Land. And my glasses. family went to America. Daddy has glasses. Yes, Tati has glasses. You don't have glasses, right? Yeah. Why did they kill the Jews in Russia? People have always killed Jews all over the world, unfortunately. Unfortunately, all over the world, people have always killed Jews. Until the time will come when the Messiah will come, and then that will stop. But until then, that's the nature of the world. There's a lot of bad people in the world who hate Jews. What, Gula? You see all the hearts? You see that? Yeah. What color you see? No, this. You see green hearts? Yeah. You see red hearts? This. You see these hearts here? This. From Isa? <laughs> this. Hitcho, what do you want to tell the people? Hmm? You didn't go to school today, right? Because you weren't feeling good also? What did you learn about in school? Your grandfather came to America in Russia in 1907. I, I don't know. Yeah, same thing with my great grandfather, 1906, 1907. What? I don't know. I'm learning at school. Did you learn Kumash? No. Did you learn about Moshe and Paro? Yeah. What happened with Moshe and Paro? Tell the people. I don't know. Did Paro want to let the Jewish people to leave the Mitzrayim? No. So what did Moshe do? Mm. Like this, Hashem told him to do makot, right? Right. What makot did he do? Mm. First, what was the first makah he did? Father. Mm. No, before that. Mm. Oh. No, before that. <laughs> the first one was dumb. He turned the. Mm. Nile no, into, yeah. hold on, I've got a troll here. He turned the Nile, the river, into what? Blood, yeah. right? Blood and down. Uh, down. Then the frogs, right? Uh, and the rock. Uh, what was after the Tzvardea? Uh, no, Kinim. Kinim. What's Kinim? Buggies, right? Right. All kinim, over there. Kinim. Arov. Arov. Dever. You forgot Barad. What happened to Barad? Uh, um, to hell. And uh, ash came out. It was hell with fire, right? Right. Not regular hell, right? Right. right. 
And after all, the, what was the last uh, Makkah, the biggest one? Uh, Ahol. No, the biggest, biggest one. Khoshish. No, the biggest one. Uh, Makkah. Be Chorot. What's that, Makkah Be Chorot? Yes, uh, Kinim are still with us in this house. <laughs> Not in this house, though. <laughs> Makkah Be Chorot. What was Makkah Be Chorot? Yeah, all the Bechorot, all the big boys, they all died in Egypt, right? In right, Bichrai. because they don't want to come out from Mitzrayim. Because they didn't want to let the Jewish people to leave Mitzrayim, right? Uh. So they got lots of bad things happened to them. Uh. And then Hashem took all the Jews out of Mitzrayim, right? Right, and this is Boaz is there. What's that? I saw it when I woke You saw hearts? Levavot? Levavot is hearts, you guys. Very expensive to bring up eight children. It's not cheap. You were just reading that in your daily devotion. We read a portion of the Torah every week in the synagogue. All Jewish people around the world read the same thing. So that's the portion of the week is all about uh, going out of Egypt. Thank you guys for all the nice uh, comments. Since I'm sitting here with two sick kids and they were asking me about, they heard me periscoping outside before. I thought I'd show them how it works. Gula, you don't look good. You poor thing. Hi in Pittsburgh. Fitcher, there's someone in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and you in America who says hi to you. Are you gonna say hi to them? Tell them hi. What, you're shy to talk to someone you can't even see? Why are you shy? Hi from Brazil. Love to you. Someone says love to you. They love you. If the Jewish people are chosen race, why are they persecuted so much? Chosen is a responsibility. And the, cho the Jewish people being chosen means it's our responsibility to teach the whole world that there's only one God and not to worship idols and not to worship people. Even if the world doesn't want to hear it, we keep teaching it regardless. And because of that, those people who don't want to hear it try to quiet us by killing us and persecuting us in the hope to force us to cease to teach the message that God gave us on Mount Sinai. And we refuse to cease. So the good people in the world, they hear the message and they're happy about it. But there's a lot of bad people who don't like to hear the truth. And so they kill Jews because we're God's people. And they hate God, so they hate the Jewish people. Because those are people who really want to be able to do whatever they want, and they don't want to hear the message that God has given for the world. And the uh, emissary that he appointed to spread that message is the people of Israel. Hi from Germany. Angelica. I hope I'm, Angelica. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. You're right. God protects the Jewish people, especially in the, look at all this laundry we have to do before Shabbat. <laughs> There's lots of stuff here to get done. What are you singing? You want to sing a song for them? Do you know how to sing uh, Ufaratsa? Yeah, we don't have it. Sing it Ufaratsa so they can hear. I don't want. Sing a song that, they could, mm. that the people could hear from God. I don't know that the God. What's that? I don't know that the God. Tell uh, Nigun that you know how to sing. I don't know. You want to sing Anim Zmirot? No. I was copying scripts towards the original. I yeah, uh, five of my kids were born in America. And the last three were born here in Israel. The script, the Torah that I was copying, is a copy of a copy of a copy going all the way back to the Torah scroll that God dictated to Moses. So that's the original. The original was dictated to Moses by God 3,300 years ago. And since then, we copy from the original. A copy from a copy from a copy. You having fun? Can I do it too? Huh? We have a finger fight. <laughs> Gula, you like to see your face? Yeah. You see that's you? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Are you cute? You boy, you. Gula, are you cute? Yeah. You are, right?
Uh, Ed, I think basically that sums it up pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for all the hearts, and uh, I'm glad you were able to meet my kids. After it was spoken, it must have been written down. Where is that original? No, the, the, the original score written by Moses was placed in the Ark of the Covenant in the first temple. And the Ark of the Covenant has been lost since the destruction of the first temple. According to Jewish tradition, it's concealed in a chamber somewhere deep under the temple mount. And when the Messiah comes, it will be brought out with the original scroll in Moses' own handwriting. But since then, we've been copying very faithfully one scroll from the next. And the proof that it's very accurate is that all the scrolls all over the world are identically the same without any changes of even, uh, even a letter. So because of that, we know that all the scrolls are very accurate. Fitcha, can you read already? You know Aleph Bet? He knows the letters, but he doesn't read yet. He just turned five, right? He just had his fifth birthday a few days ago. What did you get? What did you get as a present for your birthday? Plastilina. You got plastilina. That's modeling clay. And what else? What else did you get? I got a sachovet of of a. It's a, it's a box of, of, of stuff, so I could see this, this what, you put on the thing, what you put on the thing. What's that? Uh, the a whole bit of, of, uh, of things that could crack, and I could see the, uh, the things, in, if you stand on the things, and it crack. And a puzzle, like, right? Right. And what else you got? Uh, a, no, uh, yes, it was fitches, that's right. But a puzzle of, with a... Uh, you forgot the most crack. important present you got. Ah, this, the um, tzitzis of a uh, chumash. You got new tzitzis, right? And it's a chumash. And also a chumash, which means a book of the Torah. Show everybody your new tzitzis. They're new, right? But this one's not new they're because They're new and they're this. clean, right? But this one's not new because it's also your, not so your. This one is not the new one. The one is the new one. You see, because she is not so year. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's He's five a... and she's two. Kula is two. Kula, are you feeling sick? Yeah. Oh, poor baby. You took medicine. Soon you're gonna feel better. Don't touch it, cause it's gonna turn it off. Okay, say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Say shalom. Tell them Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Gula, you know how to say Shabbat shalom? Yeah. Say Shabbat shalom. Yeah. Say Shabbat shalom. You know how to say it, Shabbat shalom? Yeah. Say Shabbat shalom. Shabbat huh? shalom. Don't, Shabbat don't pull her head. Say shalom. Huh? You know how? Yes, I'm a Hasidic Jew. That's correct. Correct. <coughs> Say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Bye, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.